Garden Chops with Ben. Today, we are making meatloaf. inside the roof when I was out there. Okay, meatloaf today. Um, you really can't do meatloaf without onions. Uh, but if you have a house full of kids which don't like onions, you need to find a way to make meatloaf that includes the flavor but doesn't have the onions. So my method is to chop the onions until they're almost gone. Like uh, White Castle style. White Castle style, yeah. Or McDonald's hamburger style. Like they're so minced up you don't even know what they are. So now we're gonna throw in uh, a couple cloves of garlic. Same thing as before. Kids don't like garlic, of course, so you're just gonna chop this up until it's unrecognizable. Okay, so the best way to mince up garlic uh, is to add salt to it. So the salt is going to act like a, uh, not really like a mortar and pestle, but uh, the, the salt granulars are going to help break up the garlic uh, to, it's kind of like an abrasive effect, uh, but it helps mince up the garlic a little bit better. So now we're just gonna add a couple of tablespoons of uh, olive oil and put it on the stove and just kind of cook on medium until the onions are kind of translucent. So now we're gonna add a pound of ground beef and we're gonna add a pound of ground sausage. Okay. 
And we're also gonna add some cheese. Uh, I had some uh, smoked Swiss on hand. So uh, we're just gonna eventually chunk it up and add it also. Once your onions are done, go ahead and add them into the bowl. All right, so we're gonna chunk this cheese up into quarter inch to half inch size cubes and just toss them in the bowl with everything else. You can also chunk up some uh, green peppers. It's also delicious um, in the meatloaf. You could uh, saute them with your onions, uh, but it's excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna add a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs and also going to add a cup of milk. Also gonna add one egg. All right, go ahead and take your wooden spoon utensil and mix it up to combine and you know the best you can but we're, we're eventually going to get in there with our hands but um we'll mix this up with the spoon and then we're going to get our pan uh greased up all ready to go before we put our hands inside of the meat all right so now we're going to season up our meatloaf um I had taken our salt and pepper shaker out of the house for an event this last weekend, so I found this low sodium salt, and that is red cayenne pepper, uh, but just use regular salt and pepper will be fine. We're also gonna put some parsley in there, and uh, a little rosemary, and a little bit of thyme. Okay. Get right in there. All right, so now we're gonna make our glaze. It's gonna go on top of the meatloaf. Um, we're gonna go with a third cup of ketchup. And we're also gonna go with two tablespoons of sugar. Actually, this recipe calls for brown sugar. I also didn't have brown sugar in the house, so we went with just white granulated sugar, which worked, seemed to work out fine. Two teaspoons Worcestershire sauce, and we also went with two teaspoons of yellow mustard. Okay, go ahead and take your glaze and spread it over top the entire meatloaf. All right, so once the glaze is on, um, we're ready to go ahead and put the meatloaf in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately one hour. All right, so if you wanna be absolutely sure that your meatloaf is cooked all the way through, uh, this one here was a little thicker than normal, so we're gonna stick a thermometer in the middle of it and just make sure it reads over 160 degrees. This will be ready in like five minutes. What is it? 
What does it look like? Huh? What does it look like? It meatloaf. Meatloaf. Yep. Oh, I love meatloaf. Mommy said it was a hamburger, but it's not. All right, go ahead and plate this up. Uh, tonight we're using paper plates.